like and subscribe right now or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. The Mariana Trench, or Mariana's Trench, is the deepest oceanic trench on Earth. Actually, the deepest spa on Earth, land, or sea. Only in 2020 did the Chinese submersible Findoujie finally reach what we currently know to be the very bottom, at 36,037 feet, or 10,984 meters. The pressure is so crushing, the temperature is so cold at just above freezing, and it's so dark down there that we humans have only discovered a very few of the creepy, strange, almost alien-like creatures that call that absolutely sun-deprived place their home. Quoting Noah, as of 2020, less than 20% of the global seafloor has been mapped by modern high-resolution technology. The Mariana Trench is a massive crack in the Earth's crust, located in the Pacific just east of the Philippines. This mysterious, terrifying cut is five times longer than the Grand Canyon, and 7,000 feet or 2,134 meters deeper than Mount Everest, even if the peak were submerged there. Expectantly, with no sunlight, the creatures that lurk in that black and intense pressure have had to adapt to those conditions. It's probably best that it's so dark down there, as they look weird and absolutely horrific. Megalodon may be terrifying for its sheer size, but these creatures easily outdo that beast. The trench citizens are slimy, translucent, lack organs, light up like a Christmas tree, or… Well, you know what, you'll find out in just a minute because we're going to get to know 10 of the absolutely creepiest trench citizens. So get your popcorn and let's go! 9 Mariana Trench Creatures That Are Scarier Than Megalodon Part 1 Number 9 Goblin Shark Wow, this shark is really something. It looks absolutely grotesque, sporting 31 to 62 rows of lower teeth and 35 to 53 rows of upper teeth that stick out of weird-looking jaws. Their jaws look so odd because they're designed to move forward so they can catch prey more efficiently. As expected, since these sharks live in perpetual darkness, they move slow and rely on smell, light, and electroperception rather than sight to wait and then snatch up their prey. In addition, these creepy-looking monsters have a pinkish hue instead of gray and can grow up to 18 feet or 5.5 meters. Imagine a large, slow-moving thing in the dark, mouth agape, eyes like black holes, heading your way. Well, experiencing a nightmare about this is all you have to worry about, since these sharks live way down below at 3,000 feet, or 914 meters, and the older they get, the lower they sink. Number 8. Fanfin Sea Devil Anglerfish All we can say about this anglerfish is thank goodness they're tiny as they look like they came up from some death pit to eat you alive with their razor-like teeth. These little creatures spore a bioluminescent lure that both helps them attract prey and avoid becoming prey themselves. Oh, and they don't just hunt for their prey. They use a protrusion from their forehead with a glowing lure to attract animals, sometimes animals larger than themselves. They also have hair-looking sensor spikes all over their little bodies that help them balance and probe the water around them for prey. Brownish in color, these anglerfish max out at 8 inches or 20 centimeters only in size. But what's as fascinating as it is possibly weird is that the males are often called sexual parasites because they latch onto the female and fuse themselves permanently onto her body. When the male does that, he pretty much just becomes a reproduction enabling growth. Over time, his fins, teeth, eyes, and some internal organs disappear. Guess it's a give and take. She provides for him and he makes it possible for her to reproduce. Number 7. Zombie Worm or Osidax Also called the bone worm, these tiny 2-inch or 5-centimeter long worms are absolutely terrifying. They feast on bones for the lipids, rock-hard bones from just about any creature all the way up to whales. Good thing they just go for bones of deceased animals and not live ones. The Osidax can do this by secreting acids. Yikes! In addition, these mouthless and literal gutless worms are reddish in color and look like nothing more than some red, stringy kind of ocean plant that colonizes all over whatever bones are just lying around. Great disguise! 
And unlike quite a few of the creatures discussed here, the Osadax has been found only 10 meters down all the way up to 4,000 meters in the deep sea. Unlike the sea devil anglerfish, though, the zombie worm males don't attach themselves to the females like growths. Instead, they find it more efficient to live inside the gelatinous tubes surrounding the female's trunks. If you're thinking harem, that's exactly what this is. But hey, unless you've passed away, there's really no reason to worry that these little slimy worms will come suck the lipids from your bones. Number 6. Deep Sea Hatchetfish Two massive, translucent-looking bluish eyes, a gaping open mouth, a body shaped like a hatchet that's bluish silver and shines with a mixture of colors that looks like car oil spilled on the pavement. That's what the deep-sea hatchet fish looks like, and it's both beautiful and hideously ugly. The coloration on their bodies is both weird and fascinating, as they have bioluminescence via organs called photophores and can alter the level of brightness for their glow depending on how much, if any, light is filtering down from the surface. This provides a rather clever camouflage technique, but their tiny size of only 6 inches or 15 centimeters also helps them blend in with their environment. Some may say they look tough, but this is because they choose to live at near 5,000 feet or 1,524 meters in deep waters. These fish are still rather unknown. Researchers generally agree that they may live only up to one year, and they may migrate to relatively shallower waters to feed on plankton and tiny fish. What about reproduction? Well, the scientific community simply doesn't know much about that yet at all. Number 5. Dumbo Octopus no matter what kind of octopus it is, they just look creepy and slimy and gross and like they're just going to grab something and strangle it to death. But wait, the Dumbo octopus doesn't look like that at all. It's named after Disney's Dumbo, and for good reason. Being an umbrella octopus, the creature looks like an elephant head with long, thin ears, black eyes, and eight stubby, short, webbed tentacles. It even often sports a rather stylish, purplish pastel kind of coloration on its 12-inch or 30-centimeter body. But don't go petting this harmless-looking ocean citizen, as it is a dangerous predator and can swallow prey in just one gulp. The Dumbo octopus tends to live on the deep sea floor. As it doesn't have ink like most other octopi, it relies even more on extreme speed, maneuverability, and their wings for defenses and escape. And it quickly swallows crustaceans, worms, and bivalves in one bite for survival. Yes, this is a rugged octopus, living at depths of around 9,800 to 13,000 feet, or 2,987 to 3,962 meters. Insane! Number 4. Fangtooth Fish Now, this fish is as ridiculous as it is repulsive to see. Though they grow only up to 6 inches or 15 centimeters, the front fangs on these fish let everyone know not to mess with them. In fact, the two fangs are so long that the fish has special pouches in its head that prevent the fangs from piercing its brain. And they make quite good use of all their teeth, too, aggressively seeking out their prey without bothering to check what it is before they swallow it up. These little terrors have vacantly staring eyes and vary in hues of brown to a brick-type red. Though they may live as deep as 5,000 meters or 16,404 feet, they prefer to rise to shallower waters at night to feed, a pattern called dial migration. No thanks. Number 3. Comb Jelly Here's a creature that's mesmerizing to observe. It's literally a near-transparent gelatinous sack with all colors of the rainbow running quickly down its body like many hundreds of tiny neon lights on a movie theater sign. These are luminescent combs that refract light in delightful ways. There's no mouth, brain, eyes, bones, or any other expected part on this creature. But this ocean dweller is very much alive and active. Even more brow raising, their bodies are composed of 95% water. All they really have are two tentacles they use to pull food to their mouths, including other jellies. All in all, these beautiful predators also use their combs to swim, though it more or less looks like they're floating around with no destination set. Some other odd, weird, and possibly cool facts about the comb jellyfish is that they can reproduce asexually, self or cross-fertilize, most are hermaphrodites, and some have even been observed to have parts of them break off and become a whole new jelly. Maybe they'd make cool pets, but it's best just to let them live where they like it most. Number 2. Telescope Octopus 
Unlike the Dumbo octopus, this octopus is nearly transparent. And this octopus may look stubby at a glance, but its eight tentacles actually reach halfway or more up the length of the creature's body. With quite a bit of reach if the octopus lifts its delicate web to give them space, it grows up to eight inches or 20 centimeters long and enjoys floating around in water columns from 500 to 6,500 feet or 152 to 1,981 meters down. However, there is a bit of reach to this creature's tentacles and they use them well. As this ocean creature is indeed nearly transparent, its golden-toned digestive gland can be seen externally, which is both cool-looking and frightening. It has a ghost-like feel to it, floating constantly, moving and turning slowly. However, its two large protruding tubular eyes can rotate in all directions, which is simply terrifying and gives this little predator an advantage to find prey. All in all, this is definitely a magical, fantasy-looking creature, closely resembling its cousin, the glass octopus, but little is known about it to this day. Number 1. Deep Sea Dragonfish so, there's been a few cute and perhaps pretty ocean dwellers discussed so far, but for this last feature, we can say this fish is hideous and terrifying to behold. Though the dragonfish looks like an eel, with a long, scaleless, slimy body, it is a fish. A fish that produces its own light in order to attract prey and possibly mates. Similar to the lure the anglerfish has, this toothy beast also has a protrusion off its chin mounted with a photophore that it also uses to lure in prey. These frightening facts aside, the deep sea dragonfish is also termed the super blackfish for its dark coloring. It has horror movie sized teeth, lots of them, that give it a grotesque, smiling look. So, all this may make it surprising to learn that this monster grows only up to 5 inches or 15 centimeters. But don't take it lightly. It lurks in depths from 700 to 6,000 feet, or 213 to 1,828 meters, with its internal light giving it an eerie glow. Well, with the dragonfish, we must end our fun and fascinating discussion of monsters that live in the Mariana Trench ecosystem. But just for now, there's quite a few more that can outdo Megalodon in terms of terror that we want to talk about, so we'll be seeing you soon for part two of this video. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss content like the alarming and alluring creatures in part two.